back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma holy flying flipping flapjacks full-time family walk with me as we find out the official no fucking media bias no opinions no nothing the official top 10 pound for pound fighters in the world in the ufc this is super dope, this equation, this algorithm was made by Steve X Metal on Reddit MMA. I stumbled across this and my mind was low-key low key blown for a second. He, This guy took all MMA fighters and gave them an ELO rating and put it in a spreadsheet for everybody to see. If you don't know what an ELO rating is, um, it's a formula or an equation that's used to rank. I think it was originally started to rate chess players. You know, it goes off of your resume your strength of schedule you know everybody you fought like it, it takes every single thing into consideration into like one big equation and gives people a ranking it started off in chess and moved to competitive gaming i became familiar with an elo rating um, in competitive gaming and now it's transitioned to mma all thanks to steve x metal and this is super dope because if i'm telling you guys right now if i were to make a video tomorrow top 10 active ufc fighters true pound for pound rank Rankings, I would go off of this list and I would just take out the UFC fighters So that's what I'm about to do because this ELO rating, you know, there's just so hard to pick a number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter You don't know what criteria to use. You know, are you talking about who's been successful at multiple weight classes? Are you talking about who's defended their belt the most? Are you talking about who's got the best technical skills? There's so many different criteria, which is why you can never get a clear-cut you know agreeance on who's the number one pound for pound fighter is it conor mcgregor some people would say hell no some people would say well he's got he's the first to hold two belts at the same time in the ufc so you know there's just too many different criteria to really choose from so i would personally I, of course, I don't know how to make no damn algorithm or nothing like that. So thanks to Steve X Metal, he did it for us. I would just go off of this because this ELO rating shit is super dope. And to put it, I think he did every single UFC fighter on, like every fighter on Sherdog or something. Like a whole crazy spreadsheet, man. But right here you see the top 15. And also he even, you know, took was kind enough to do it for this weekend's fight night duho Choi versus korean superboy he even just had those four the whole main card oh man this dude th this whole equation is super dope so with that being said we're about to scratch out a couple names that are not in the ufc and we're gonna find out who is the top 10 active pound for pound fighters in the ufc now when i say active i just mean under contract john jones and george st pierre are technically inactive right now as george st pierre was diagnosed with colitis and vacated his belt and is out indefinitely and john jones was stripped of his title and he's out due to a usada suspension but we're gonna leave them in just because they're still under ufc contract and we do expect them to at least fight again if not once maybe twice we could i can make another list if you guys want just let me know in the comments of people that are not suspended or not out indefinitely and just do the current fighting active top 10 pound for pound i would just find them on this list and bring it to you guys but i'm telling you it's worthy um just the elo rating shit is super dope so i'm about to take one of these markers a uh, fucking the pencil tool and now let's go down this number one uh, this top 15 because we've got to scratch out as you see Gegard Musasi who's number five on this list He's with Be uh, Bellator right now So I'm only gonna do UFC's top 10 on this video Which means I got to scratch out Gegard Musasi who's my boy and I fucking love that he's in the top five according to this This system which even gives more credence to it for me because I, I'm if you, a lot of people don't know as much about Gegard Mousasi because he's not one of the most popular fighters in the world to casual fans, but the hardcore fans know Gegard Mousasi has been around for a while, fighting legends in multiple weight classes. So for him to be in the top five, I, yo, I'm down with that. So Gegard Mousasi is in Bellator right now, so he's not going to make it for this list. I'm actually going to have to take this brush down just a notch so I um, don't there we go all right Gegard Musasi. we're gonna scratch him out just so we fucking know who's the top 10 so we don't get confused Gegard Musasi's at Bellator so as soon as this fucking thing starts working there it is boom we're gonna scratch off Gegard Musasi. so number one coming in at number one in the UFC's rankings is George St. Pierre he's got a higher ELO rating than everybody I mean and that's fine with me um, he just came back, one beat Michael Bisping for the middleweight title. He's a two-weight world champion now. Now he's out indefinitely, but it is what it is. George St. Pierre's number one P for P. 
currently in the UFC. John Jones, number two. We know about his suspension testing positive versus Daniel Cormier and being stripped of his title. But if you're going off of his strength of schedule, the opponents that he's beat, and just all of this equation, John Jones is number two. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that would agree with this. Demetrius Johnson, number three. Not, not hard to complain about the that Daniel Cormier number four fucking only lost in his career to John Jones now this equation just to tell you a little bit more about it it not only takes into consideration who you fought it takes into consideration your opponents and who they fought like it adds everything into this dope ass equation so Daniel Cormier is coming in at number four since we had to scratch off Gegard Mousasi Tyron Woodley will be coming in at number five so Ty Tyron Woodley rounds out the top five that's dope Max Holloway coming in at number six Tony Ferguson coming in at number I'm gonna fucking write these down ain't that shit confusing bro five all right, that shit's gonna look sloppy. I'm gonna have to take the brush down. Walk with me, walk with me, because this shit is super dope. We're about to find out the top 10 P for P in the UFC. All right, we got a five there. Boom. Take that five off and fucking make that joint smaller. All right. I don't got a fucking mouse pad. Walk with me. All right, six. Max Holloway. Seven. Tony Ferguson. Let's scratch that joint out. Boom. 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 Eight, motherfucking Rafael Dos Anjos. Nine, Eddie Alvarez. Ten, I don't know who Mamed Katalov is or even what organization he fights out of, so we gotta scratch him off because I don't believe he's in the UFC. So we'll scratch that guy out. Ryan Bader is now with Bellator, former UFC light heavyweight uh, contender. He's with Bellator. Scratch him out to find number 10. Ben Askren, not with the UFC or Bellator. Scratch him out. Um, he just retired recently, I believe, with one, the organization one. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Stipe Miocic. Ooh, you know what that means, right? That means Conor McGregor is number 11. How can you not love this equation? It's got Conor McGregor still up in the top 15, but right outside of the top 10, and it's a true rating, man. So, Conor McGregor, it looks like, does not make the top 10 of the UFC's P4P P active fighters unless you take out George St. Pierre and John Jones due to their inactiveness. But at the same time, they've both fought since before. Conor McGregor hasn't fought MMA since 2016. It even has their fucking bout dates. George St. Pierre's last fight was just this November. Well, not this November, but November 2017. John Jones, July 2017. Conor McGregor, you can't see because I think my head's covering it, but his last fight was in November of 2016. So... Um, even if you did just do active UFC fighters, I don't know if Conor McGregor would make that cut. So it is what it is, man. This was super fun, super dope to me. I love this fucking algorithm. Steve X Metal is a fucking legend, a god amongst men for even making this shit. So let me know if you guys like this and maybe I can do something else just using this fucking spreadsheet. Top, we can do like top five fucking Bellator P for, I don't know, I, top 10 P for P, active fighting, non-stripped, non-inactive fighters, that's super dope, top 5 lightweights with this, I, I, I could do so, have so much fun with this thing, it, is, it isn't real, so with that being said, it is what it is, man, let the full-time family know what you think in the comments, I'm out. It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G.